skul. No names. Just call me Piggy and I'll call you Dog. I'm sorry about that. You like food, Dog? I guess so. Yeah? Okay. How you like your food? Small portions, medium, large, well cooked, Egyptian. I don't know. I like old food, I guess. Yeah, I like you, dog. But you gotta learn to think big. What do you mean? Look, when you think about evil, you have to learn to think bigger and greater evil than you ever did. You know, evil never dies. It moves around the world like a, a beast, a predator. And you never know when or where it's gonna strike again. The only time to catch that beast is when it rests, when it's asleep. And we all got to rest, dog. Even Biggie's got to rest. But the witch and also... Like I said, no names. But if he would... Look, take a look at this, maybe. Hi, uh, I'm James Dixon, an actor. Uh, things you've seen me in, or you might remember me from, or um, see Big Daddy with Adam Sandler, um, Sidney Lumet film, Night Falls on Manhattan, uh, Andy Garcia, uh, Paper Soldiers, uh, my nephews tend to remember me a lot from that one, Jungle to Jungle with uh, Tim Allen, uh, uh, what's the other one? Oh, uh, yeah, and, uh, Blue in the Face, uh, Harvey Keitel, Keitel film. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've done a lot of other things, um, stage work and whatnot, and some music videos. Um, and basically, people tend to remember me from these, but I've done a number of other things. Um, I'd say maybe some of my favorite uh, special projects were a uh, project I sort of wrote, produced, put together um, early 90s, Luther T. Jones. Uh, it was a video I wrote with a very talented writer named William Colbreth and shot by uh, George Lamboy, excellent cameraman who's credited with making it what it was. It was something I shot out of my apartment in six days. And um, it went over very well. Several festivals picked it up. And the uh, next year I did a sequel, Luther Jones Part Two. Um, let's see, um, <clears throat> another special project was um, Road to Recovery. It was a stage play written for me by a talented, uh, very talented playwright and friend, Eileen Kilburn. And it's, uh, we performed it in some off-Broadway theaters. And then a friend of mine, uh, David Sweeney, who has a, a weekly Manhattan Cable show, Dave Gold Show, came down to see it and he put it on this, um, his uh, program. The Dave Go Show. Uh, it's a turkey, um, one of these fake commercials on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Chris Rock, I played his father, one of my first credits. Uh, that was, uh, they tend to revive it whenever they have the best commercial or parodies on Saturday Night Live. They always include this. Uh, and the very next year, it was like 1990, uh, the next year I worked in a, one of Chris Rock's first dramatic films, New Jack City. And ironically, it was a similar scene, and uh, uh, you know, the central character was drug dealer feeding, feeding turkey <clears throat> to, you know, people in the neighborhood. And Chris Rock was this homeless, down out character. So, uh, it went from the turkey family to this uh, homeless uh, situation. Uh, let's see one of the films um, I was in, Blue in the Face. I still get residuals. I think I did that around 95, and uh, that's uh, the only one I still get a little, uh, you know, well, one of the ones I get the residuals from today, uh, and they've dwindled to something like 9 cent or <laughs> 11 cent. I was telling that to an actor recently, uh, and he says, oh man, I got a check, a residual check for like a penny. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's the life of an actor, James Dixon.